All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Jörg at Find a Job in Germany in Berlin. What is your biggest weakness? How would a friend describe you? Is there anything in your life that you regret? Those are really creepy questions and I'm asking them to you because they are part of final rounds in Germany. So let's talk about that. First of all, final rounds are also sometimes called culture fit calls, culture fit rounds. So let me explain the reason for that. Culture fit or PO fit, person organization fit, is the technical term in HR that describes whether or not a person actually fits the organization. Duh. Okay, what does that really mean? It's um, equipping HR and people that are doing the interviews with tools, with questions to really dig deeper and to find out whether or not they can make a prognosis that this person is going to make an addition to the team depending on the needs of the company. That's so far so good. And in the culture fit round, which can really, really differ, let me say that, they will ask you therefore these kinds of questions. First of all, you need to understand that so far you have evolved with them. It has already been maybe two or three rounds or four rounds and now this is the final round. This is as long as it can take for you to actually have a culture fit call. And therefore, you need to understand that whenever you're doing a call with them, it matters whether or not you have already been doing that with them. So. If you're already meeting a person that you have met, you need to know their name. You need to address them by their names. You have now made acquaintance with that person, most likely HR, and there might be another person on the call that you have not yet met. So you want to really, that's the first takeaway here, distinguish between the two because the person that has not met you yet is going to be more interested in you as well. Whereas the other person, you should treat them like you're already kind of part of the team. You should really treat them as if you were a good colleague already. Now, when you're in the call with them, they will start asking you these questions, maybe funky questions, maybe freaky questions, maybe weird questions, maybe easy questions. And it's of course supposed to push your buttons. It's supposed to uh, really deep dive into your skills and it's supposed to convey whether or not you fit the organization. And this is where I can really talk about quite a few experiences. There have been calls in which startup founders, for example, were interviewing a Java backend engineer from our program. This is from when we started in 2021. And it was curious because it was a complete culture shock for this person who was from India because the founders would open a bottle of beer right in front of the computer right in front of them in the Zoom call and see, you know, how, how are you spending your evenings? How are you uh, doing maybe uh, after work events? Would you like to participate in that? And this person was really, let me say the least, confused. Okay, and he didn't quite understand what this was supposed to mean. He didn't understand why they were opening a bottle of beer in front of him. Culturally, this was very, very different from what he was used to. Well, you need to take it easy in such a situation. They did that on purpose. They did that in order to see how this person would react, of course. I can tell you, he didn't make it this time. He didn't get the job. I think he was really too freaked out. He got another job later on, but that's that story. I, we told him that he should really, let's say, get into the mood like that. And it's okay if you are able to, for example, uh, say, you know, nicely reject, politely say, oh, I'm not a drinker, but I would do totally join over a glass of water. I could totally you know, join the team watching soccer at night, etc. It's important that you still show your, and this is PO fit at its best, availability at all times, your compatibility at all times, that you're really willing to do this nonetheless. There might be differences between you and them. This is perfectly fine, but really, what it comes down to is that you still show that you want to join them, no matter what, okay? I can also tell you from experience, and this is another story, there has been another guy, I think he got a job last year, who um, I think was applying for an e-gaming company. E-games, so far so good. And I can tell you, that culture fit call was 60 hours straight of talking about games talking video games, talking which kinds of video games he liked, why he liked them the best, and so on and so forth. And he just came out and he said, well, this was the coolest culture fit call ever and he was really happy to get the offer. But um, this is what you should really expect and know about 
is to go with the flow, take it easy, and of course be flexible like that. And I can also relate to maybe something that Stefan said in one of the you know episodes that we published a few weeks ago, be authentic. Being authentic is being you and making it sound natural and of course also sharing and this is something that we practice of course in our coaching program it's important that you also understand this expectation from the other side po fit for a german company means can we see this person board on at our team can we see this person join the existing team that consists of you know i don't know vera this person that person this person that person and they're going to be thinking and picturing you already being part of the team. And that is why it's so important. And I can only really emphasize that culture fit, just like any other you know, interview that you do, is really about practice. And one can totally practice this. I say really make sure that your motivation to join the team gets across. This is going to be very important. And if you like, you can also do some research on the people at this point in time. Um, at a later stage like this, in a final round, in a culture fit round, it's totally okay to also visit the person's LinkedIn profile, learn more about the person. It's totally legit. It's not off-putting in any way. It's, it's perfectly fine. After all, it could be that you're going to be joining the team soon and then you're going to be colleagues anyway. So that information can also help you prepare. One more piece of advice, sometimes companies do start out with a culture fit round at the very beginning of the interview process. Um, do not expect anything less. You should still really open up like that, all, apply all the things that I already shared with you in this video, of course, and expect these kinds of questions. These suppose, they're supposed to challenge you and they wanna, of course, challenge you to see how far they can go with you. And so don't be disturbed, accept it as it is, and really go with it. Again, authenticity is what matters. Your motivation is what matters. That is what you need to come across and bring across. I want to say thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Also, thank you for subscribing to our channel. And if you want to know more about how we work at Find a Job in Germany, including mock interviews, which are an essential part of our coaching program, watch the video training for which you find the link right underneath this video. And if you like, book a get to know call with us, send us your CV so that we can see whether or not we can work with you and proceed to the next round. There we assess in more detail whether or not you can join the program. If you're joining the program, Program. That means we work with you as long as it takes. And this is Jörg from Find a Job in Germany. So long, all the best, take care, bye bye.